Во всемирной паутине появилась весьма необычная запись, сделанная камерой видеонаблюдения возле магазина. Видео примечательно тем, что на нем запечатлен человек, проходящий сквозь дверь торговой точки. Таинственного незнакомца пользователи интернета прозвали настоящим путешественником во времени из будущего. В данном ролике видно, как в темное время суток к закрытому магазину приближается мужчина. Даже не прикасаясь к двери, он спокойно проходит сквозь нее. При этом на видео в тот момент появляется непонятные помехи. Пока чужак находится внутри, сквозь окно в двери видны вспышки света. Примерно через 10 секунд загадочная личность точно так же выходит наружу сквозь дверь. Можно подумать, что это самый обычный монтаж, однако две детали не поддаются никакому объяснению. Во-первых, возле магазина ночевал бездомный, который проснулся как раз в тот момент, когда в магазине появились непонятные вспышки света. А когда предполагаемый путешественник во времени покидал заведение, гражданин без определенного места жительства уставился на него изумленным взглядом, что подделать в общем-то было нельзя. Во-вторых, на записи постоянно меняется дата с 2016 на 2019 год и обратно. iPad, you know, whatever. Well, check this out. So, this is a publication um, that I get uh, from the NRA. It's American Rifleman. And, uh, you know, I see that when I'm browsing around on YouTube, all that crap about time travelers and this and that and these old photos. So, um, but there is a, a picture in here, and I'm going to move it out here. I want to show you guys. And, uh, that just caught my attention. Um, what this picture is, is uh, it's like a training day. It says, uh, you know, 1942 Rifle Range Attachment at Quantico, Virginia. 
held a four-day U.S. Marine Corps Marksmanship Instructor School for 500 NRA civilian shooters, um, you know, as part of a training. Now, I'm thinking, you know, how cool, and it's talking about what guns they're shooting here and stuff, and so I'm looking at, at the original picture here, and lo and behold, my attention is drawn to this fellow right here. It just looks like he just absolutely does not belong in the picture. Um, you know, everybody else has got their, their helmet on, their rifle, you know, and even the photographer down here is, you know, donning era-specific clothing and... released the first photos of an ancient woman found preserved in the Altai Mountains. But one picture in particular is causing a stir online, after it appears the 1,500 woman, because there is no bow in the tomb. Now we are carefully unwrapping the body, and once this is complete the specialists will be able to say more precisely about the gender. A host of possessions were found in the grave offering a unique insight into life in Mongolia, in around the 6th century AD. These included a saddle, bridle, clay vase, wooden bowl, trough, iron kettle, the remains of an entire horse, and ancient clothing. There were also pillows, a sheep's head and felt travel bag in which were placed the whole back of a sheep, goat bones and small leather bag designed to carry a cup. The first Turkic people occupied a region, from Central Asia to Siberia from the 6th century BC. The first mention of Turks was in a Chinese text, that made reference to Turk tribes, and Sogdians along the Silk Road. The Turkic people developed their own alphabets, had their own language, and are known for a number of symbols including wolves and the color blue. In fact, some reports claim the word turquoise originates from the word Turkish. Today, modern Turks live across Asia and Eastern Europe. In 2003, DNA analysis revealed skeletons found in a 2,000-year-old tomb contained genes found in modern Turks. Two years ago, archaeologists found what they believed to be the grave of a Turkic warrior, also in the Altai Mountains. Turks were buried with treasured possessions, known as grave goods, that they could take to the next world. In this 2014 discovery, what appeared to be a Turkic warrior was buried with a musical instrument, alongside his horse. It was not considered a complete burial due to the lack of other grave goods. Commenting on the recent discovery, B. Sukhbader continued, It is the first complete Turkic burial at least in Mongolia, and probably in all Central Asia. This is a very rare phenomenon. These finds show us the beliefs and rituals of Turkics. We can see clearly that the horse was deliberately sacrificed. It was a mare, between four and eight years old, 